papers uh, how to solve them uh, so before going to start if you are new to my channel please subscribe my channel for upcoming videos so let us start so this is the question paper of 2017 uh, in that uh, question paper we are going to solve some of the quantum mechanics related problems so first question in the dipole approximation the induced transition rate between two quantum states ket n and ket m is proportional to so here we have four options so the correct answer here is uh, if the equation for initial and uh, final state uh, if we consider here we have uh, the mod of square uh, initial and final state wave function so according to this equation the option c is correct okay next question the scattering amplitude in quantum mechanics has the dimension of so scattering amplitude formula as we know uh, differential cross section has the dimension of area so the square of scattering amplitude gives the differential cross section then uh, this uh, differential cross section is what equal to area then this if we remove square root of area that is equal to length so square of length is what area then option a is correct some are direct questions they are going to ask direct so in partial wave method the total scattering uh, total cross section is given by this is the formula for uh, partial uh, total cross section in partial wave method so the option if we carefully observe here option a is correct that is sigma equal to 4 pi k square l equal to 0 to infinity 2l plus 1 sin square delta this this is in case of partial view method the direct hamiltonian is represented as this is also a direct question so here uh, the option if we carefully observe the option a that is hamiltonian h equal to c function of alpha dot p and uh, beta cap m naught c square so alpha and beta are what direct matrices so next question consider scattering of neutron by a nuclear potential of range 1.2 for me if the energy of the neutron beam is 100 mega electron volt the partial waves that will contribute to scattering cross section are so if we consider uh, the scattering of neutrons they can go up to uh, the orbital angular momentum value that is uh, spdf 0 1 and 2 so the option c is correct in scattering experiment the differential cross section for spherical symmetric potential v of r using born approximation is given by so this is the derivation of born approximation uh, so the uh, option a is correct dou sigma by dou omega function of theta so 2 mu by h cross square to the whole square 0 to infinity v of r sin qr divided by qr r square dr this is in case of spherical symmetric potential next question if alpha x alpha y alpha z and beta denote the direct matrices then which of the following is correct so answer uh, for this is first what we have to do here alpha x uh, alpha y and alpha z uh, matrices we have to note down uh, as uh, i have represented here then beta is in terms of matrices that is 1 0 0 minus 1 then here sigma x y z and i are poly identity matrices respectively here uh, if they are identity matrices then alpha i square is equal to 1 beta square equal to 1 and trace of beta if we take that is equal to 0 because 1 minus 1 is equal to 0 so here option c is correct 
alpha i square equal to 1, beta square equal to 1 and trace of beta is equal to 0. Next question, the Klein gordon equation for free particle of rest mass capital uh, small m is given by this is also a direct uh, question then the answer for this is so if we observe carefully the four options option um c is correct minus h cross square dou square psi dot t square is equal to minus s cross square c square del square psi plus m square c to the power 4 psi the transition rate between two quantum states yeah, ket m and ket n due to spontaneous emission is proportional to so first we should know the formula uh, for transition between two quantum states initial and final state that is given by uh, this equation so here we can see omega uh, is the power of 3 that is omega cube then uh, for initial and final states if we consider uh, here omega cube that is answer a, option a is correct here among all the four option a is correct so where omega for initial final state is uh, what difference between the energy divided by h cross square h cross so this option a is correct so these are the some of the solutions for uh, quantum mechanics uh, questions related to the previous year question paper 2017 question paper so like that you try to solve uh, the questions uh, related to each core subject of physics then you will get the idea uh, how we can solve the problem so i hope this video is helpful if it is helpful please like share and subscribe my channel thank you for watching